What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to uh, some more Astrodare. So we are going to be doing a comprehensive video over the salvage initiative, the salvage update, if you will. Now, there are going to be spoilers. If you don't want spoilers, look away. Shield your eyes. Don't do it. Don't look. Don't watch for another second. I'm just kidding. You can at least leave a like on the video and then come back later after you've done it yourself. Anyways. Uh, thank you guys for coming out here. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. If you are, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support. You guys are absolutely amazing. Now, we did stream this over on twitch.tv slash Gaming. That's what we did. We played this for uh, like three hours. We got through pretty much everything. So uh, I want to go through. I want to show you the tips, the tricks, the things that I learned along the way. Now, first thing. First things first. If you want to find this container specifically, this misplaced cargo that has all this gooey gooey in it. And actually, if you listen close, it sounds like it has. It sounds like it has liquid in it, so uh, kind of neat, kind of interesting. But this is the misplaced cargo lucid modified live extract. If found, please return to Exodynamics. Looks valuable. Anyways, these containers are only found on two planets. That's going to be Vesania and Novus. That's going to be the only ones. They have the uh, like a little uh, Aurora Borealis thing in the sky, lights in the sky. That's the only two places you can find this. This guy right here, when you throw a packager on it, is worth 250 points, which is cool. And it's neato. Don't mind this one. This one's from the, uh, the the holiday update thing. It's I still have it. Anyways, <laughs> 250 points. It's cool. I like it. It's fun. I highly recommend go collect it. You know, do a couple of them. But but if you want to mid max your time, if you want to get more things for your your more bang for your buck, well, I'm obviously not on Desenia or Novus. No, uh, we we were there for a while. And the terrain is not fun to drive around on. It is not good. Not good at all. So we went back to, to Glacial. And there's a couple reasons that I'm going to tell you exactly why here in just a second. Also, what do you guys think of the rover setup here? It looks pretty funny with the little antenna lights things. <laughs> it's so cool. But um, this is the setup that I found to work for me. It looks like a mess. It is a mess. Basically, the gist of it. You have your Exo request platform. You have a storage, you have another storage, you have some storages with some dynamite on there, maybe some ammonia, maybe some graphite, some power, you know, things like that, a solar canister, the basics, you know, and then everything else kind of fills up along the way. Uh, but something that people are, are having issues with or asking questions about is the Excel request platform itself. Uh, you need to either repackage it or make a new one from the holiday event because the older one did not have double slots on it. It did not. So you were not able to put tier two slots on there. So. Uh, we'll get into that in just a second as well. Now you may be like, what? What's all? What's all this stuff on here? What is? What? What? Why do you have like solid fuel jump jets and uh, more solid fuel jump jets and a whole bunch of oxygen filters that nobody really wants? You know, uh, some packagers that are super handy actually. And uh, why do? Why do I have all that? Well, you guys have a keen eye. You guys have a keen eye because there is actually, if you go and put this, eh, eh. On the, what in the heck? What are you doing on there? Get up. Backpack full. What are you doing on there? Anyways, if you go into here, you will see that it's going to tell you. Um, oh, shoot. It's not going to tell you now because I already did it. On the progress bar, it's going to have multiple little marks. It's going to say, oh, this is a reward package. This is a reward package, things like that. But it's going to have a little down arrow. Every time you hit that down arrow, you're going to get a care package back. Now, the, the items that you get on it vary between, between on what arrow you're on. But the overall care package, care package right here, this one, every time you hit over the 8,000, once you hit the 8,000, it's going to say, all right, um, at 9,500, you now get a care package. At 10,500, you get a care package. 11,500, you get a care package. 12,500, you get a care package. You know what I mean? So um, that is what that is indicating. And that means that you get stuff back, which is super cool, super neato. Now, I don't know how far we need to take this because typically before you wanted to fill this bar up now i'm not positive this bar is actually moving we are gonna check it don't worry uh we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff see if we can get this bar completely full uh see if we unlock anything else but the care package that i've received every time so far has been exactly the same and it has been the uh two packagers two of the solid fuel jump jets a beacon and filters so um yeah but anyways all right so why are we on glacial well i'm glad you asked because these guys right here and Glacio is completely chock full of research. If you have the power to do it, pop those guys off. If you need ammonium, guess what? Ammonium is on the surface. Package those guys back up. These guys right here are worth 150 a piece. Now, I know that's not the 250 
that we were getting from those other things. But guess what? These things are plentiful. There are so many more of these research pods than there are anything else. It's absolutely insane. Um, and then on top of that, you also have things like this guy. You know what? We're going to take this plant out real quick. Okay. You have things like this guy, these broken rovers. They're worth 150 as well. So you have these rovers laying everywhere. That's 150. That's 150. We've already made 300 right there. And it took us, it, it didn't take very long at all. It's super easy. It's super amazing. Now you could go through, blow up the base platforms. You, you absolutely can. You can do that. It's, it's your thing. Uh, you're only going to get small stuff out of it, but uh, you also have, you know, these big, huge things laying around. Let's go grab a dynamite. Let's blow that bad boy up. So we can blow up this bad boy, which is super amazing. I'm glad that these can be blown up now and removed from the planet and not just leave a big, huge hole. <gasps> it didn't blow up. What? Are you non-explodable? There you go. <laughs> we got it. Okay, cool. Uh, so it drops all these little pieces of platforms and stuff like that. So uh, let's throw a package on these guys. Call this good. That's going to be a small guy. All of these are going to be small ones, unfortunately, over here. Uh, let me grab this guy and throw it on this one to give you an example. Now, each one of these guys has different uh, resource values. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, cool. So that looks good. So the larger boxes by default are 150. 150 points. 150 for the medium debris pack. Unless it's one of those special ones, then it's 250. So you get an extra 100 points. Um, the smaller ones like these guys are worth 50 a piece. So anytime you get a little tiny package like that, that's 50 a piece. And then the little salvage bundles are worth 25 a piece. So, uh, you can see like, you know, values and stuff like that, like are much better for the, uh, the larger stuff. Now I've had a lot of people saying that, uh, you, you can't, you don't actually need to scrap anything. <laughs> I know this is a salvage initiative, but you really don't need to run anything through, uh, through, through a scrapper. You don't need, you don't need the raw scrap. You don't need it because you don't do anything with it. It's just, it's just there. <laughs> you don't need it. Uh, so yes, but how I've been doing it, how I've been going through is I have been using Glacio. I've been collecting uh, all the rovers, all the tops of the research chambers, things like that, because Glacio is just a little bit easier to move around. You can see it's uh, it's very white and bright, so you can actually kind of see what the heck is going on. Uh, let's see, we have another rover right over here, fantastic. You can actually see what the heck's going on. Oh my gosh, there's three. Look at that. See, you see what I mean? There's just so much stuff here that you can grab and turn into stuff. And if you guys haven't gone to Glacial already and haven't already started grabbing the research, each one of these research pods inside is worth 7,400 bytes. Uh, guess what? I have tons of research now because I went through and opened up a whole bunch of these just to get the tops to send them off. Yeah, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But uh, we need to figure out if... Uh, let's package this guy up and let's deliver this. I think this is going to be the last one for this guy, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's completely full. All right, it is. So uh, we have this. It's going to say uh, 11,950. So we're going to be uh, slightly short. But I want to see if this bar moves at all by sending this. Oh, <laughs> now it's completely maxed out. <gasps> oh. Oh, I see what it's doing. It it takes it to the level that you currently need to get your next care package. It's not like an overall level. I get it. Okay, so now if we finish this one, if we finish this level, it's gonna boop, it's gonna reset it back. That's what it's gonna do. Okay, all right, cool. Um, but let me go ahead. Let me go grab some of these uh, these tops over here because why not? We can always use the research. And we get some more bites, or we get some more. Well, we get more bites too. Oh, it gave us a. It actually gave us a care package back. Wait, what? It. It gave us a care package back again. Weird. Interesting. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna grab the packagers and I'm gonna dump the <laughs> dump the the filters. I don't need those for anything. And then the beacons I'm just gonna take because I don't want those beacons stacking up everywhere. What the heck? That's super weird that it gave me one already. I was like 50 points shy. It shouldn't have gave me one yet. All right, so all of these bad boys are actually ammonium based, which is super easy. We don't have to worry about parking the rover close to it, anything like that. Put one there. We'll grab these guys. So you see right here, we got these three tops right there. That that's 450 points, like super easy. 
So, uh, yeah, Glacio is still my favorite planet. Still my favorite. <laughs> it's it's going to take a lot for it to not be my favorite anymore. It's still my favorite. I'm super curious now. Like, what happens when we deliver this package and we are over the mark? Is it going to give us another one, like, again? Because I'm getting tired. <gasps> we're going to have to get a shredder just for all the rewards we're getting back. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then also because we're not heathens, uh, we are going to grab these research pods because these are worth, like I said, 7,400 bites a piece. And uh, I just, oh man, I have so many of them that I just need to research. We need to set up a huge research farm. We might actually do that in an upcoming episode just so we can get these guys researched and done with. All right, then the last one we're going to send on this last little uh, little voyage is going to be this rover right here. No problemo. Uh, looks like we have another rover over there because I can see that sitting there on just hovering. So it's probably on the back of something. Let's throw this guy on here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this guy's going to reset. It's going to go whoop back down up into the level that we have it at. So that is super weird that it gave me something back already. <laughs> so now it's going to reset back to however far we are on this bar. It correlates with this bar now. Yep. Okay. All right. It's not, um, it's not actually, wait, so is it going to give me something back? I don't know. I was super close before. I don't know if it's going to give me something back or not. What? you? Would you look at that? It sure did. <laughs> it gave me stuff back again. I don't want any more of it. I'm tired of getting it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have so there's gonna be so many filters just laying around. It's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. Can I just put this in my backpack? That one. And then uh, a beacon we'll just throw literally wherever it goes. Okay, cool. So uh yeah, it pretty pretty much just goes by thousands. Every thousand you get more. Uh you have claimed blank rewards waiting to be claimed, collect blank rewards before end of event. Okay. Oh, it says something different now. Package debris, utilize recovery rocket to transfer. You have insert rewards waiting to be claimed. Collect insert rewards before end of event. Hmm. I wonder if they're going to come up with anything during... What the heck? Was that guy there, like, again? I don't know. I wonder if they're going to add anything else. Or if what we've got is what we what we have. It, it's just it's just done for. Anyways, okay. So, what are the rewards that you get? All right, spoilers, here, here we come. We're going to head back to our base. We're going to talk about the rewards that you get. Actually, you know what? We're just going to do it right here. Why not? Because I have lights right here. I can actually see. You guys can actually see. All right, so first reward you get, you saw it on my first video. That is the formal attire. I think it's. I think it was called formal attire, right? Formal attire. You get that. You get a tire hat. It, it looks like a tire. It's pretty neat. It's, it's actually kind of funny. Then, the next tier you're going to receive is a face hat, also known as a mask. A turret apporter. Turret apporter. I'm not actually sure what this is supposed to be. I have no idea. I don't know if it's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a visor, like your eyes are looking through here, then like this, like it's an add-on and now you can see stuff or something. Like, uh, what happens if I use the take photo emote with this? So if I use this, what happens if I take a photo with this guy? Is it gonna take it from the angle of my, my face camera? Oh. Maybe, or does it always do that? I don't know. Anyways, that is the next one that you get is this 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 face mask, this this face hat. That's that's what you get. It's pretty neat. Um, and then the final one. I want your guys. I want you to comment below what you think of this one. And I'm not even gonna say anything on that. I'm not gonna give you my opinion. I just want to see what you guys think. I want to leave it up to the world. Savage chic. This is the palette you get for when you finish everything. This is the 8,000 reward. Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and change the, let's change the visor color. Uh, I think it looked better with the silver. What, uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of that? Leave a comment below. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just, I want your opinion. I have my opinion, but I want yours. <laughs> All right, so uh, those are your rewards. That's the things that you get. Now, like I said, I believe that the easiest way, in my opinion, is just to go to Glacio and go around and get the, the the tops of the uh the research pods and the rovers and things like that just like just chilling around you know just that's probably in my opinion the easiest way to do it now uh other things we played with astronium because a lot of people were like well did astronium change did anything was changed with astronium uh because we kind of thought maybe something would be different with astronium especially with the addition of the um with, of that crate that has the what looks to be like astronium coming out of it what in the heck is going on here oh there's a stupid a stupid plant with the addition of this crate with like the astronium looking stuff out of it now it says that it's a modified live extract so i don't know we went down we grabbed some astronium it doesn't do anything different it still says natural resource uh it still researches for a thousand over 25 minutes um it's it's nothing nothing new 
there's no new uh recipes that require strontium there's nothing in the chemistry lab that requires strontium there's we can't we there's nothing anyway it doesn't smelt it doesn't do anything so um i don't think anything's changed with changed with it uh we tried to put the strontium on here we we're kind of playing with this seeing if we can put strontium on here it doesn't do anything uh we were kind of playing with this guy because it attaches to stuff well actually it's because we saw that it had the little attachment things underneath but i think that's just a, a visual thing uh it does attach to this we tried to play with this it i uh, we don't know we don't know if you guys figure out anything leave a comment down below but now i don't i don't think it's i think we're just gonna have to take it for face value on this one i don't think there's anything hidden here <laughs> unfortunately so there's that guy again these guys are only found on Visania and novus and you have to I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to want to drill mod and a paver mod for sure on those plants. You're going to want to drill mod and a paver mod on your rover regardless when you're going out and doing this because rovers are probably the best way. It would be a pain to go grab it and then bring it back. Um, so definitely being mobile is, is the key here. But uh, that pretty much that pretty much covers everything that we've we've kind of found out. Um, Don't blow this up. Doesn't do anything. We did that the first episode in case you missed it. We blew this up. It does nothing. It gives you like little teeny tiny pieces of scrap that are like worthless. So uh, nothing there. And then with this guy, if you guys are curious how long the event's going on for, well, we have 59 days, so you can just check that guy. It'll tell you. Uh, I believe it ends June. Is it June 14th? I think it's June 14th that this guy ends. So you can check that out between then and now. And I don't know. We're going to keep making, we're going to keep going points wise. I don't know if there's anything else. I don't know if there's any hidden tiers or hidden rewards or anything like that, but it basically just keeps adding a thousand every time. So uh, we'll probably keep going for a little bit. If you guys have gone further, leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, did you guys get anything different? Anything new? Anything I should be looking for? Please, I need the spoilers. We need the leaks. We need all the leaks. But um, yeah, that's going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. This was a hopefully semi-comprehensive uh, talk about this guy. Now, like I said, you can go to any planet, do anything. I recommend Glacial personally because it's Glacial. It's my favorite planet. It's my favorite planet. I love. But uh, yes, thank you guys so much for coming out. Hopefully you had a good time. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing as well as of 60% of you guys watching are not subscribed. It's insane. It's insane. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for the support. Again, you can catch me on twitch.tv slash d1 gaming. If you want to catch some live action, live stream and stuff, uh, we stream over there every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. So, uh, yes, thank you guys for coming out. You have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.